Hey friends, Travis Gensler here. I uh, had a request because some of the other demos that I walk through on how to use Microsoft Teams, or at least how we've organized it, or the, the current evolution has been locked away in some Facebook groups that not everybody has access to. So uh, creating this video, hopefully it's helpful um, to give you some ideas on how you can use Teams in your uh, office. Um, but this is how we currently have ours organized. So inside of Teams, on, as far as the channels go, um, you can see this, this Beacon Point Ops is what I would classify as our general team. So everybody in the agency has access to this one. Uh, in here, we have the different channels uh, for the, the team. Um, and every, every Microsoft team has a general channel. So I took advantage of this general channel. And you can see I have notices updating in here every time something on our intranet uh, gets updated or we forward an email into here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, in here, we also have our general files. So any emails that get sent here, sales scorecard. So anytime uh, somebody on the team uh, closes a new policy, we send them a new business form where they can put down what their estimated premium is. So it kind of helps them keep track uh, or at least know kind of where they're at uh, as far as their production goes. Um, so they have access to that here in the Files tab. Uh, I do have Easy Links connected here. We don't actually use it much here because we're in the native web browser outside. But if somebody was new or just needed quick access, this is also available on the phone too for whatever reason. If um, Don't know why I have it in here to be honest. We just do it outside of Teams. But it's cool so I wanted to show you. You can add any web page inside of Teams that you wanted to. The Client Scheduler tab, this is actually our Microsoft Bookings application I've just connected here. So if a client calls in and whoever answers the phone needs to schedule a, a consultation for somebody else, click right here, boom, have it scheduled. Client gets an email, let them notify it. It goes on the calendar of whoever, and it pulls up everybody's uh, Microsoft 365 calendar. So as long as they're keeping their calendar up to date, the uh, appointments can get scheduled right directly from here inside a team. So easy access to the bookings program. Uh, internal forms, this is actually uh, an outside uh, program that I have forms built for different unique things. Uh, so cancellation center, um, EOI requests. So anytime any of these transactions come in, you know, we click out uh, to this form and fill that out. And then also if a client calls in, we can jump right here and start taking their information down uh, right out of the gate. And depending on what they need, you know, you can jump through the different forms. Uh, so that's easy access. And that's just uh, adding an external web page in here as well. Um, and here's, I've attached the intranet that we've built. You can check this out on previous videos. Um, so on the intranet, uh, you can also um, click through here as well as seeing it through some of the other channels that I'm going to show you in a minute. But everybody has access to the internet. That's the whole point. Inside of here, everything's here that you may need. So the goal is to continue to build it out. As the carrier pages get updated, it flashes the most recent one here. Um, so you can see we added some new ones as of December. Um, here's some uh, videos that we've uh, uploaded in the stream documents that were recently edited, but more importantly, all the different sections. So if I clicked on personal insurance, this goes to walk them through whatever they need to do. So if you're interested in building out the internet to start organizing your data and training your people with a regular process, fantastic place to start, especially if you want to automate something in the future. Process is key first, then you can automate it down the road. So here's our workflow and process. They can click on whatever they need and documentation is right there. Um, but check out the intranet videos on the channel. It will help you walk through and let us know what questions you have on that. On the rest of the team, you know, we have our prospect channel. Um, so if somebody fills out a contact us form on our website, for example, I have that posted in here. Um, you can use Zapier for some of the simple posts or you can use um, Microsoft's Power Automate, it used to be called Flow. Uh, you can have those drop cards in here with the information. Anybody who's not a client yet, this is where we have that discussion. 
um, prospect form, small business. Uh, so if somebody calls in, again, here's our new business um, form that we can fill out and gets kicked off to them. We also have our client channel. So any discussion about a client uh, goes on in there. Uh, claims channel, if somebody fills a claims form on our website, um, then obviously it notifies us to reach out to them. So that's what these are. Uh, the support channel is anytime a support ticket is created uh, because a client requested a change to one of their policies, drops in there, we can have a conversation. Um, Insco insurance company channel. We're not using this as much because I've expanded with the carrier resources section down here from our intranet. Um, so this is kind of in the process of being depreciated. But we used to send the emails from the insurance companies because we get blasted with so many different emails. And, and a lot of times you don't see some of the stuff because you get so much of it. So what I started doing was sending an email into Microsoft Teams so that way we can continue the discussion about the email inside of Teams. Once an email comes in, then you can just click at the bottom of um, bottom of the uh, email that is right here. So this is one of the emails right here. So you can click View Original Email and see the whole thing. You can click See More, um, for example, and then. Just if you're, you can see replies right here, you can just click reply and it keeps that conversation about the email all attached together. The nice thing is you don't clog up your email box by forwarding this crap around again. It's all right here. And the nice thing is you can use the search bar to come back and search for a lot of this stuff. As long as you know what keywords were in it. Um, so you can search for webinars or whatever and it'll pull that up with the search bar up here. Internal projects, this is just special things that I have the office working on, anything from marketing uh, to whatever it might be. So we track all that stuff in there. Uh, training is where we start um, talking about the different things. If I find something that uh, is useful, then we'll have a discussion about it. Anytime I implement a new process and we're going through the training, like we're using Chad's um, note, uh, formatter uh, for our EasyLinks application. So I updated that information in here, click see more, and then I put additional instructions and you know then we start having conversations. I even dropped uh, some some uh, photos here to give them better reference to make sure that we're doing things all on the same page because if you're not doing and communicating the same way that's where things fall apart. Um, Jinx is a uh, special project to me. I'm not going to reveal that here on this channel. Um, but for those that have seen Space Camp, uh, the, the robot from Jinx, I, I don't know, took me back to my childhood. Reporting, this is where I used to send uh, Easy Links automated reports into here um, because I wanted the team to be able to see some of this stuff. So renewals, that kind of thing. I'll do another video on that. Um, but you can click here and you can see the daily downloads. So everybody has access uh, to that information, even if they don't inside of Easy Links. Um, and then the videos and stuff is just other projects that we're working on. So you can create channels for whatever you want, but keep in mind, less is more. Don't make it too complicated where they don't know where to put the information. Um, so continuing with that thought process, when we built our intranet, we had a subsection on SharePoint for carrier information. And so what we've done is we've attached that carrier resource section that we built in our intranet to our Microsoft Teams so everybody has access to it. And then what I did was I created a channel for each insurance company. Um, and we obviously have quite a bit more because we got 18 hidden channels here. You can, you can expand to whatever you want. Um, but within each insurance company's channel, for example, um, let me find a better example, because we just started doing this uh, a few months ago. So on our, on our guard channel, for example, I have the emails that I talked about with the insurance company channel up here. Now I'm segmenting them so they're all inside of this sub-channel for the guard company. So you can come and search 
and in here is only guard stuff. The nice thing about this is you can forward these emails directly from Outlook if you have your settings correct. Um, so to get that email address, you just go to the channel that you want, click on the three little dots, and get email address, and then you can forward emails in here from your own organization. If you want outside emails to come in from like EasyLinks or, or wherever, um, there's a setting you have to set in the admin panel. I'll do a separate video on that one. But with this email address, you can just forward the information directly in here. So then you can have uh, conversations about those emails if you want, hit reply. Um, you can get fancy with your text here, add GIFs. Um, and then the other cool thing is on our intranet, we had a folder for documents from each, each company. And so the files tab right here um, is where all of those are. So this is the exact same file folder that we have in our intranet. So we can drag and drop documents into here. It shows up on the intranet. Um, oh, let me go back. Uh, and vice versa. And then on top of that, what I did was I went to this little plus sign and you can add just about anything under the sun here. Um, but SharePoint pages, and if you remember on the intranet videos, we created a SharePoint page for each carrier. I attached that and I renamed it to the details tab. So for guard, this is the SharePoint page that we created that has all of the contact information starting to build out um, all of the other pieces of information specific to that company. It's all right here. Uh, also has our agency code, phone numbers, email addresses, all that jazz um, built into each one of these channels. So as we build this out, um, you know, you're going to have your different files and every company is different. And so, you know, having that details tab easily accessible so you don't have to log in to the website to get it. Um, the point is make it easy for them to get to it no matter where they're at. So you can be on the intranet in SharePoint, you can be here in Teams in the carrier resource, or if you remember in the general tab, I connected the front page of the intranet. So we're getting to the same information in this situation from three different methods. So it's easy access. Um, and then always keep in mind, top right corner, you can click on this little globe icon and it will open that up um, so in the web page, so you can go to the web version of that page as well. So I'm, boom, I'm right here inside of Carrier Resources. This has been um, a fantastic addition, uh, adding the Carrier Resources section in here several months ago. The team has absolutely loved that. The other piece that I've done is I've created a Human Resources uh, channel. And if you notice in here, the uh, they have little locks after the, the different channels. So I created a channel for each, each person. In here with the lock means it's private. It's not available to everybody. It's only available to those that I invite to that channel. So for Chris, for example, um, it has just his information in here that he has access to. And uh, this is actually one of the new things that I just learned. I'll do a separate video for this one, but I created a schedule report of open tasks inside of Easy Links, and I have that forward into Chris's channel. So every Tuesday when we have our uh, employee meeting, we can go over what tasks are, are running through on his file. But on his file tab, what we did is um, we have compensation. Uh, that's where I store like pay stubs and commission statements, all that jazz. Education is where uh, he can log all of his certificates from CIC or wherever he's getting continuing ed in case he needs to come back to those. Um, the email messages, it's just because I'm forwarding in those uh, reports automatically. So it automatically creates that, that folder for us. Licenses, um, it keeps a copy. So he has the ability to upload the PDFs of all of his licenses in here. Um, so for easy access. Um, and then the reporting is just any other uh, reporting and other things that you throw in here. Um, but those are different things. And then Chris has, I don't have access to this, but he has attached um, OneNote in here for him to keep notes 
for himself. So he has access to OneNote right here in his own personal file. And because he hasn't given me access to it, I can't see. So it's, it's, it's his personal OneNote, but he plugged it in here for access to him. So he always knows where it's, where it's at. Um, and, I'm, and I'm starting to do that for all of the staff. And then I have a special, um, so talking about the evolution, uh, I am going back to, I created this, but what I've done is I've created a back office for just management and I'm moving the commission and the other reporting stuff into back office. So the human resources I renamed, it's purely going to be human resources related. And then all of the reporting stuff is going to be shoved back here into the back office channel um, because only management's going to have access to this team. So these are just uh, where I'm sending automatic reports currently from easy links that are management related. Um, so I can just click right here and open up any of these Excel files um, and it'll it'll populate it right here inside of this Teams channel. So super cool way to uh, organize your information inside of Teams. Um, as you saw, there were several chats coming through. So there's private chats here. Uh, calendar, this is my personal calendar. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I hit meet now because somebody needed help and we did a desktop sharing uh, session there. This files tab has everybody's access to the files and then your own personal uh, OneDrive. If you still use Google Drive, you can attach that here. I did that because I needed to drag and drop some stuff over uh, into OneDrive. Um, so you can add other storage uh, here as well, but if you have the Microsoft ecosystem, take advantage of the stuff that they're giving you because uh, it's all built in there. Um, this is being modified. This is the old planner. Uh, that's why it says tasks by planner because they're merging. Um, so this is something else that we'll get into here. Uh, the, the task, it'll be a simple task management tool. Um, and you can see uh, here's some uh, we just went through Medicare season, and so we have uh, our Medicare, and I'll click on boards so you can see we have our different buckets not started, and I have this automatically populate based on emails received uh, in a shared email box. So, um, And then you just click and drag, drag it wherever you want to go. So uh, super cool way to use tasks, but I just wanted to talk about organization in this session. Um, OneNote calls, here's the, if you activate the phone system, then you can turn on the phones here. Power Automate has uh, become more implemented here. Um, so you can start creating all kinds of stuff. So some of the um, simple stuff or stuff that you uh, built, they have little uh, templates here that you can mess around with. Gets a little bit complicated, but you can't really break it. So go ahead and jump in there and start playing with that because um, this is something that will become a bigger piece of things moving forward. Power Apps, uh, another cool thing that they're adding in. I'm not going to get it into it here, um, but you can create your own applications uh, inside of Teams. Super cool stuff coming out. And then the three little dots here is uh, you can click on More Apps, and you can add just about anything you want. So here's, if you have access to the Microsoft Forms that they're building in here, um, a lot of the stuff you can, you can uh, once you install, you can just click and drag it over. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but a lot of things that you can do uh, to organize your data inside of Teams, um, I highly recommend. If you're not using it, jump in there, start playing with it, uh, because it is literally going to change the way that you do business. Um, and you'll see how quickly your team will explode. Just be careful that you don't make it too complex in the beginning. Just make it super easy. Start with just one team with just some general channels just to start having some conversations, store some documents, uh, create your carrier resources. Like I said, check out the internet videos on how to build out that, and I'll make some videos um, on, on how we connected all this stuff here uh, as, as the part four to the SharePoint. But just wanted to show you how we're using it right now. If this helps, um, let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button because we are going to post all of our videos, all of our I Learned Today type stuff in here to help you. And uh, 
let me know what questions you have because we may have already run across it or if uh, I can come across somebody that knows an answer, we'll create the video for you because uh, this is truly one of the few applications that you'll implement in your agency that will change the way that you do business. So like I said, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments below, hit the like button if this video helped you in some way. And uh, if you guys wanna pay it back um, because we're doing this just to help out the community, um, please share this video. That's the only thing that I ask. Uh, if it was helpful for you, share it for somebody else. Uh, or if you got a friend or another agency owner or even a small business owner that's looking at doing this, um, please share this video with them or any of the other videos that we have because uh, that's what we do it for is to help the community and, and take advantage of some of the cool stuff that's coming out here. So, again, thanks. Hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.